welcome viewers welcome to the new lesson from dr arts biology if you did not subscribe the channel you can just click on the subscribe button and bell icon welcome students so far we have learned about what happened to glucose which is entering into the glycolytic pathway okay so we can see here the glucose is first converted into two three carbon compounds that is glyceraldehyde three phosphate and then it is converted into another three carbon compound that is two molecules of pyruvate ultimately we can say that six carbon containing glucose is converted into two molecules of two three carbon containing compound known as the pyruvate now what will happen to this pyruvate in an organism's body that is the question and what is the fates of pyruvate why we are just writing fates is is known have uh, only one instead it is having three fates inside the body of organisms okay so we can see here the first fate and second fate is actually an aerobic fate that means the pyruvate is anaerobically converted into some product anaerobically means without utilization of oxygen it is converted into some product let us see what is we will be just seeing what is actually the need of anaerobic fate of pyruvate so once you cover the first and second fates of pyruvate you will understand why lactic acid is formed inside your muscle why ethanol is produced by the yeast bacteria etc or the even plants you got it now the third one is aerobic fate aerobic fate means with the utilization of oxygen in presence of oxygen pyruvate will be converted into two molecules of carbon dioxide three molecules of carbon dioxide releasing enormous amount of energy if you are just comparing the energy released from anaerobic oxidation of glucose and aerobic oxidation of glucose you can see that aerobic oxidation is actually resulting in enormous amount of energy just think about the 2 atp and the 36 molecules of atp we will be just seeing the final number later okay so that is the case clear so let us see the anaerobic fate first in that the first one is the anaerobic fermentation or alcohol fermentation okay sorry so alcohol fermentation is the first one alcohol fermentation so after that you are going to know about the how alcohol can be made and the how can you utilize for scientific purposes like a sanitization disinfection etc okay so we can just see here how alcohol will be formed from pyruvate here pyruvate is converted into pyruvate is converted into it's so actually a re reversible reaction only acetaldehyde and which in turn is converted into ethanol so this is a reaction how it can convert into acetaldehyde you can see that pyruvate is a three carbon compound and a molecule and acetaldehyde is a two carbon molecule and ethanol is also a two carbon molecule so one carbon is lost when it is converted into acetaldehyde in which form it will be released out it will be in the form of co2 so one carbon dioxide will be released out okay now <clears throat> 
So, what will be the enzyme that is catalyzed in this particular reaction? It is nothing but pyruvate decarboxylase. From the name itself, we can see that uh, carbon dioxide is removed. Decarboxylation is happening. Decarboxylase. Pyruvate decarboxylase enzyme. Now, when acetaldehyde is converted into ethanol, we know an aldehyde can be converted into an alcohol by undergoing reduction or oxidation. CHO is converted into CH2OH. So, two hydrogen is added extra. Addition of hydrogen is nothing but the reduction. So, reduction is happening to acetaldehyde to form the ethanol. Now, the question is who is actually the reducing agent? Which reducing agent you know as part of the dehydrogenase enzyme? Yes, it's nothing but NADH plus H plus. So here NADH plus H plus will be getting oxidized to NAD plus so that it will reduce acetaldehyde into ethanol. Clear? Now the question is who is or which enzyme is catalyzing this particular reaction? I already told redox reaction is happening. If redox reaction is happening, what will be the enzyme? Dehydrogenase. So, alcohol dehydrogenase or ethanol dehydrogenase. Ethanol dehydrogenase is the enzyme. Clear? So that is its particular step. Now the question. What purpose this is? Some plants, some bacteria are producing ethanol. Are they interested to? It's not for that purpose. Instead it is just for releasing this NAD+. It just want to release this NAD+. For what purpose? In order to continue the glycolysis in the absence of oxygen. We know that in glycolysis, the sixth step is requiring NAD+. We know that NAD+, is converted or reduced to NADH+, H+, in the sixth step of glycolysis. So, for performing that reaction, it requires an oxidizing agent that is nothing but NAD+. And that NAD plus providing reaction is actually this alcohol fermentation. Same is the case of lactic acid fermentation that is happening in your muscle. It is actually just releasing the NAD plus which is required for the sixth step of glycolysis. Clear? So let us see the lactic acid fermentation. That is the second. For, for example, we, are, we want to see the structure, right? So let us see the structure. So C O H double bond O C double bond O C what happened? C H three. That is actually the pyruvate three carbon sugar. Now what should happen? The carbon dioxide should be removed. This carbon should be removed. Okay, so this carbon should be removed. So we can see that uh, this carbon dioxide is removed. CO2 will be removed. Now we just need acetaldehyde. So this H will be coming here. As a result, we can see that CH3, C double bond O, this C double bond O only. H. For understanding, you can just draw one thing, you can just make this hydrogen as this. And uh, here you can just add that red hydrogen. Then you will understand what happened. Okay. And if you need some more convenience, you can just make this C double bond O O with a different color and you can just make use of the same color for this CO2. Okay, so this is acetaldehyde. Now what we need, uh, we just want to add hydrogen toward this. And we have to just change uh, the hydrogen into C this carbon CHO, acetaldehyde into CH2OH alcohol. So let us see what will be happening. 
ओके वी रिक्वायर एन ए डी एच प्लस एच प्लस आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग इट विथ ब्लैक एंड इट विल बी रिलीजिंग आउट एज एन ए डी प्लस so this h and this h is actually binding to this particular carbon okay so let us see the reaction here c double bond o okay c double bond o will be changing c o c h then c h3 we just want to add this black hydrogen here so h c h2 o h now it become the ethanol ch3 ch2 o h so that is actually this particular reaction hope you understood the alcohol fermentation phase of the pyruvate now we are just moving into make sure that you are drawing this particular structure you are making no you you should be aware of this particular structure so that you will be understanding what is actually happening and for that what purpose this particular reaction is taking place inside the body of lower organisms okay now let us see the acid fermentation lactic acid fermentation remember acid fermentation the acetic acid fermentation is actually aerobic metabolism by which you are just making the vinegar organic vinegar that is aerobic metabolism okay is not fermentation even though we are just saying it's as acetic acid fermentation it's actually anaerobic not anaerobic it is aerobic so second one is lactate fermentation okay lactate fermentation lactic acid fermentation in lactic acid fermentation what is happening is the pyruvate is converted to lactate without release of carbon dioxide because pyruvate is 3 carbon lactate is also 3 carbon now pyruvate the acid only lactate that is also acid now what is the change this is a keto acid and this one is a carboxylic normal acid so c double bond o will not be there instead c h o h will be there so two we need two hydrogen so what is actually happening pyruvate is undergoing reduction to form the lactate clear in the previous step we have seen that it is undergoing decarboxylation and reduction to form the ethanol here the pyruvate is undergoing only reduction to form the lactate so if reduction is happening what should be the enzyme dehydrogenase only so dehydrogenase is the enzyme dehydrogenase is the enzyme okay so who will be the coenzyme of this particular enzyme we need two hydrogen who will be provider so the molecule is nothing but nadh plus h plus so nadh plus h plus is e converted to nad plus and that hydrogen this hydrogen and this hydrogen will be added to the c double bond o of pyruvate and as a result it will be turning into ch o h that's why that's how the lactic is formed so let us see the structure then okay so c double bond o o h C double bond O O H and then C double bond O then C H three. We are just changing this C double bond O into C H two C H O H not C H two I C H O H. Okay, so we need a reducing power and that is nothing but the nadh so nadh plus h plus is just converted to nad plus and this h and this h will be added at this particular point to form 
the lactate. So this is lactate dehydrogenase enzyme. Okay. <clears throat> so C double bond O O H and then C O C H three. And what should be added? A hydrogen should be added at this point and at this point. So make use of different colors so that you will understand what is happening. So CHOH will be formed and this one is lactate and this one is pyruvate. So for what purpose this is formed? In order to form the NAD plus so that in the absence of oxygen, we just require minimum amount of energy that can be derived from the glucose. That means 2 ATP at least. And in order to continue the glycolysis, we need NAD plus and it is for providing that NAD plus this lactate formation is happening inside the skeletal muscle of higher organisms. Clear? Okay. So hope you remember that particular step, glycolysis, sixth step were glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted into 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate. That step require NAD plus. And only if that step proceed, you can just make two ATP molecule at least from one glucose. And for that purpose, you need one, two molecules of NAD plus. And to provide that two molecules of NAD plus, two pyruvate form will be converted into two lactate. And that will be releasing two NAD plus, which will be utilized for the sixth step. Make sure that you will be getting questions like what is the significance of lactic acid fermentation in your skeletal muscle. You will be getting questions like that. You have to remember this particular thing. It is for release of this NAD plus to make use of it at the sixth step of glycolysis. To continue glycolysis and derive minimum amount of energy that is 2 ATP from one glucose molecule in the absence of oxygen. Clear? Now let us move to the third seat that is aerobic seat and that is the formation of acet acetyl coenzyme A. So the third phase and which is aerobic, aerobic phase and that is the acetyl coenzyme A formation. This particular reaction is actually the linking reaction between glycolysis and Krebs cycle. This particular aerobic formation of acetyl coenzyme A is actually the reaction which link glycolysis and Krebs cycle. And keep one more thing also in your mind that uh, this is the first step where glucose is undergoing oxidation. So, an oxidative decarboxylation of glucose is taking place. There will be three oxidative decarboxylation taking place. Three into two, total six. Okay, pyruvate will be undergoing three times, oxida three times oxidative decarboxylation. And as a result, the CO2 will be released out. Actually, that CO2 is coming out of your body when you are breathing. Okay, so let us see how it will be working. So this is the first decarboxylation, first step in the oxidation of glucose molecule. So let us see that. So what will happen? Pyruvate is there. And uh, this one will be undergoing a reaction and as a result acetyl coenzyme A will be formed. Now the question is what you can see extra than pyruvate and what you cannot see something. You can't see something here that is there in the pyruvate here and you can't see something which is not there in the pyruvate that particular thing. Okay, so it is nothing but coenzyme A. So you need a donor of coenzyme A. It is nothing but the acid. coenzyme A. So you can say that H S CO A. Okay, HSCoA will be involved. HSCoA will be involved. Now, you always have a confusion or if you are thinking only, okay, if you are just leaving by hurting, no problem. 
but you will not mock you will not be sound in the subject but make sure that uh, in hs coins i mean we will be just writing coin same a as hs coin same a because hs is a reactive group in the coin same a this coin same a is a name only it is not any it's not cobalt or any something any other atoms okay it's actually the name coin same a it's a big molecule and we are just uh, making by name but the reactive group in that molecule which take part in this particular reaction is the sulfhydryl group that's why we are just making hs so this is sulfur and this is hydrogen but this one is actually the name only you got it so hs sulfhydryl group is the reactive group in coin same a and that's why we are just representing coin same a in the form of hs co a okay so now what is remaining you can just see that uh, one thing is entered and that uh, something is removed out pyruvate is undergoing acetaldehyde acetyl coenzyme a so derivative is a kind of derivative only acetyl coenzyme a so what is actually happening some reduction should happen and the addition of coenzyme a should happen plus carbon number is less here two carbon this one three carbon two carbon and three carbon so carbon number is less when carbon number is less what is happen what happened the carbon dioxide will be removed so there will be a removal of carbon dioxide when it is coenzyme a enter there is a removal of co2 now nadh will be acting as the so nad plus will be acting as the oxidizing agent nad plus and that will be forming nadh plus h plus clear so let us see the structure and then you will understand the it properly so i'm just drawing the structure by rubit c double bond o o H C double bond O. Then what's happening? C H three, and this one is converted. So let us see C H three. What is actually the acetaldehyde? CHO. Here we can see that uh, this particular C double bond O will be retained. Uh, okay, so and uh, into that C double bond O, the self coenzyme A will be attached. So you can see C double bond O. Then this particular S co A will be. Sulfur coenzyme A will be formed. Okay. Now, where this particular NADH plus H plus comes, so I will be just drawing this particular thing. You just predict from where this NADH plus H plus is coming. So NAD plus is entering, and what is formed? NADH plus. Predict from where this H plus came. Starting from this particular molecule H. Okay, and uh, you can see C double bond O is the uh, H is released. That H is this one, and this H is released uh, when HS coenzyme is taking part. So HS co A will be released out. In the form of water, uh, this CO2, so carbon dioxide will be released out. Uh, so this is the carbon dioxide that is released. The C double bond O O. Got it? Okay. So this carbon dioxide is released. So make sure that when you are drawing this particular aromat, it is touching the main aromat. Otherwise, this reaction is independently taking place. You are just representing that. You have to connect this aromat and this aromat. 
clear so that's about the, the aerobic fate of the pyruvate the formation of acetylcholine a which is acting as the linger reaction between glycolysis and krebs cycle and also it's an example for oxidative decarboxylation and this is the first step where glucose is undergoing oxidation through pyruvate with the release of carbon dioxide out so two carbon dioxide is now lost from the glucose what is remaining four the four remaining carbon dioxide will be lost in krebs cycle we will be seeing that particular thing okay so if you are just getting question like uh, explain the three step by which glucose is undergoing oxidative decarboxylation and releasing six carbon dioxide molecule what is the first step that you have to write this is the one were two molecules of carbon dioxide is released i am just representing only one why i am saying two because we know that two pyruvate molecule is formed as a result of glycolysis so this reaction will be happening two times as a result the two co2 will be formed and the remaining two step will be seen in krebs cycle so let us see that particular thing so hope you remember it you have to keep in mind that uh, this is an example for oxidative decarboxylation or oxidation and decarboxylation removal of hydrogen plus electron and removal of carbon dioxide is happening to pyruvate to form the acetyl coenzyme a hope you understood the fates of pyruvate and uh, thank you thank you for watching enjoy the lessons